Would you have any idea how many albums you've sold? Um, oh, I would say now, to be honest with you, I'd, uh, I would go as far as to say I would, and you know, it would be in the millions anyway. Because over the years, like, because I, for, for when I started out first, you know, I made my first album in the early 70s. Yeah. Truck Driving Woman. Truck Driving Woman? Truck Driving Woman, that was my first album. And I was sitting in the back of a lorry. Honest to God, have you seen, oh, have you seen some of the sleeves I have? So did they take a photo of you with your hands on the steering oh, wheel? Oh, no, no, uh, no. Well, the Truck Driving Woman one now, I was sitting, uh, do you know something I don't know damn where? I was sitting, it's that long ago, yeah, yeah, forget. Yeah. Yeah. I know I have long hair and long hair down to there. Yeah, yeah. When you went to America, like, um, what other country music stars did you meet? And, and who, which meetings impressed you? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll start from the beginning. I went, we went to America, we did, the, you know, the usual ones that the Irish bands would do. Boston, Chicago, Philadelphia, New York. Then uh, we used to do a big festival in Wembley. It was called the Marlborough Festival. It was on for, I'd say, for about 19 years. Mm. Myself and Ray Lane, and we were a oh, duo yeah. at the time. Mm. And we did that festival, and all, it was all the American, uh, American singers, all mm. the big singers were all over. And, the, and you know, uh, Tommy Wynette, uh, uh, George Jones, Merle Haggard, Buck Owens. Oh. Uh, they're only to name but a few. Yeah. So I went over to Nashville, and I recorded about, uh, I think it was four albums. Along with in the Porter Wagner Dolly Parton oh, my studio, God. wow, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Tours with I did two tours over in, in England with Don Williams. Uh, I did a tour with uh, Glenn Campbell. Wow, I'm the only one now that's still living the old date. <laughs>